What's up guys? This is Matt with Project Unbroken and today we're talking about anxiety. Before I get into this, please make sure to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all things recovery related. Thank you. So, anxiety. Um, just so we're speaking the same language, today when I re refer to anxiety, I am specifically talking about a fear of possible future outcomes. All right, so we're gonna get that up here. Anxiety, fear of the future, or the future outcomes. And the way that anxiety works is our subconscious mind pulls from past experiences and it remembers the feelings that we got from those experiences and it projects them onto possible future outcomes. So. Let's say um, you tried to taper off of heroin or you got some Suboxone and tried to make it work for a short-term tapering process and it didn't end well and you got really sick and you started back at square one. Your subconscious mind has that hardwired so when it thinks tapering process or um, getting off of heroin or Suboxone, your subconscious says like, hold on, last time we tried to do this, shit went south really quick, and you got really sick, and you felt terrible, and you're a failure. And you, like it's telling you everything negative that it can possibly come up with because it didn't work out the last time. So that's kind of where that anxiety stems from is because you know what it feels like to get sick, you know what it feels like to withdraw, and your body, your subconscious doesn't fucking want that to happen. Good news is, it doesn't need to happen. If we have a good tapering process, like I went over in my last video, and we have all of our tools in place, we start working on our coping mechanisms while we're going through that tapering process. And again, last video, I went over the exact uh, blueprint for you to set your tapering process up with. We don't need to feel any pain at any point during this process at all. Again, we wanna use our maintenance program, Suboxone or Methadone or Subutex or whatever we're on to put a barrier between us and being sick so we can start to work on these coping mechanisms. And that's what we're going into today. How do we work on specifically the anxiety that comes along with this tapering process? So again, maybe uh, for instance, let's say you're at your just starting your tapering process um, or maybe you're even halfway through and you start at 16 milligrams and you know the bigger the doses you're at it seems like you can make more comfortable jumps so say you know halfway through we're down to six milligrams a day we're going through the the same blueprint that i went over in my video my last video and we're, we're six milligrams and next in two weeks you're cutting down to five milligrams and you're thinking about that and you're like i wonder if i'm going to feel sick when i get down to five milligrams i wonder if i'm going to get sick a month after that when I cut down to four milligrams. I'm probably definitely gonna feel sick or at least some symptoms when I get down to two, but shit, like in, in June, I'm gonna be completely off. Like I'm probably definitely gonna be feeling sick because I'm not gonna have any chemicals to help me feel better. Like I started this on 16 milligrams. How am I gonna be all the way down to zero? In June? And our mind just runs this program out of control and it takes all those familiar feelings from the past experiences with tapering or withdrawal or being sick or whatever negative emotions we have tied to that experience and it projects it on what is coming to pass for your future. But there's, that's un, it's unreasonable to think that way because now you have a tapering process in place that has been proven to work. So how do we fight this? How do we quiet our mind down and say like, hold on a second, like before those voices start to spin out of control, let's see if we can get a grasp on this. And the best way to do that is to stop thinking about the future, stop worrying about the future, stop living in the future and bring yourself to the present moment. And this we can do in a couple different ways, but this is where we wanna live as much as we can is in this present moment. So what happens when we're able to bring ourselves into the present moment, and I'll tell you how to do that in a second, is we 
feel exactly where we're at right now. And we're in the present moment and right now, assuming everything's going well with the tapering process, you're like, well, right now, I don't feel sick. I don't have a cold sweats. I'm not, I'm not you know, showing any signs of withdrawal. Right now, everything's okay. Good. That's probably, or that's, not probably, that's what's gonna happen when you get to four milligrams. As long as you stick with the pro proper tapering process, the feeling's not gonna change. Like, you're gonna always feel okay. Where people get completely derailed is when they're thinking about this. A, a future event that's not gonna come to pass. But they're so concerned about possibly feeling a certain way here that it screws this up. And this is where we are, always. We're always right here unless our brain goes to this future tense and we start living in the future where, you know, it, it, it's, it's not happening. It doesn't, there's no reasonable explanation for why we are freaking out here about this. Especially when right now we feel okay. All right, that's what you have to be concerned about. So, now how do we get into the present moment. Like how do we stop freaking out about the future and bring ourselves back to baseline? That's where your mindfulness techniques come in. And there's a couple of them here that I think are really effective, especially when you're in the moment where your brain is kind of racing out of control. There's a few ways to start to bring it back in. And what's really important about this is the more you do these techniques and when you feel yourself getting into this anxiety state when you're freaking out about the future and you bring yourself back to the present, every time you do that, you're putting a brick in the wall. You're strengthening your ability to never deal with this. So of course, over time, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And your ability to start to feel these thoughts coming on, you'll catch them way earlier and be able to utilize these techniques to be like, all right, nope, let's tamp it back down until you get to the point where you're not concerned about this at all because you're so used to living right here and in the moment where you feel fine that you don't wanna to go to this place anymore, all right? So the ones that I use, and there's a lot of different ones out there, um, the one that has helped me the most and especially in a, when I need the help immediately is my breathing techniques. And this one I'm gonna go very specifically with So, the breath is gonna be a big one, and I'm gonna give you the exact formula for how to breathe to physiologically change the way you feel immediately. It's, it's science. The way, when you breathe this way, and it's super easy to do, it slows, or it hits the vagus nerve, and it relaxes your whole body. It's, it's science. When you start to regulate your breathing, it hits that nerve, and you can, physically feel every, your body will physically relax, your mind will quiet down, and you're back in the driver's seat here, where you wanna be. So, to do this, when you feel these feelings of anxiety coming on, this is the formula. We go, Whoops, I think I got that all in the video. Um, when you feel this coming on, immediately breathe five seconds in with a five second hold, five seconds out, and run through that three or four times, and you are gonna immediately feel better. So, five seconds in, five seconds hold, five seconds out. and repeat. It's gonna slow your heart rate down, it's gonna bring your oxytocin levels up, it is going to drive your cortisol levels down, that's the stress hormone, and physiologically, your whole aura is gonna shift. You're gonna relax, your mind's gonna quiet down, and you're gonna be back in control of your thoughts, all right? Then we realize, all right, I'm back here, everything's okay, I'm not worried about this anymore. We'll cross the five milligram bridge when we get to it. We'll cross the three milligram bridge when we get to it. By the time you get to the one milligram to zero milligram drop, you're gonna be so 
in control of your ability to go from here to here, that's not gonna be an issue anymore. You're gonna have complete, just, you have all the tools you need to control your mind to say, like, you're not sick right now. You, you tapered off properly. When you get to the one milligram to the zero milligrams, there's nothing to be concerned about. You built up all the tools that you needed to get control of your mind and you literally are rewiring your brain for recovery. You're completely rewiring it. Now, where we get into trouble is people think, oh, this is bullshit and I just need enough Suboxone to get me uh, you know, two years away from heroin and I'll be fine. That is not the case. Again, Suboxone, Methadone, whatever our maintenance program is, the only tool that is useful for is to give us a barrier between us and being sick so we can have a clear mind and start to put these practices into place. I promise you, if you don't build these practices, and this is just one of them, and I'll share more of them on uh, our next videos, but this is a very easy one and it works immediately. Do it right now and you will feel a difference. Five seconds in, five seconds hold, five seconds out, four times, your brain will be different after that. All right, you will be in control. And again, every time you do this, you strengthen that wiring, you strengthen those synapses to go to that. So when you feel this, this automatically kicks in and then you're back here. And then it's on autopilot and you rewired your brain to run this process on its own. So try it. Now, today, every time you feel stressed, every time you feel anxiety, kick this in and it's gonna be an immediate relief, I promise. If you try it, let me know how you feel in the comment section. This is actionable stuff you can do right now to make yourself feel better. Let me know, I wanna see how it goes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.